What's up guys? Today's video is on the best outdoor security cameras in 2022. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options, that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers, so whether it's price performance or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. At number 7. Easy Viz C8C, Pan and Tilt Camera. You may need several security cameras to properly cover an area, but the Easy Viz C8C offers an alternative solution, as it can pan 352 degrees horizontally and tilt 95 degrees vertically. It has an IP65 rating, so it can handle the elements, but you have to run a cable to a power outlet as it's not battery powered. It's an imposing sphere-shaped camera with two antennas that makes it look like a Star Wars droid. Connect it via Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and the versatile included L-shaped bracket lets you attach it to an overhanging portion of the roof or to a wall. A panel on the back screws open to reveal the micro SD card slot, sold separately. You can control it via a simple app that loads the feed quickly. The video resolution maxes out at 1080p but captures plenty of detail, and the built-in person detection is consistently good. There's a microphone to record sound but no speaker. The C8C's black and white night vision is crisp, though it switches to color when it detects motion. Sadly, there's no HDR, and it unsurprisingly struggles with mixed lighting. There's optional cloud storage, but it's very pricey, starting at $6 per month for a single camera for just 7 days of video. You also annoyingly need to remember to fix the camera view back on the main area you want to monitor when you're done panning around. At number 6. Logitech Circle View, best for Apple Home Kit. There are some big caveats to this Logitech security camera. First, it has a permanently attached 10-foot power cord that's not weatherproof, so you'll need to be careful when you route it to an indoor outlet. It also requires a home kit hub, such as HomePod Mini, Apple TV, or iPad, and while you can record 10 days of video events to your iCloud account, it's only worthwhile if you cough up for an iCloud storage plan. There's also zero compatibility with Android, so it might be useless for anyone in the household without an Apple gadget. If none of that phases you, then it's a solid outdoor camera for privacy-minded folks. It doesn't have a separate app of its own. Instead, you add it directly in Apple's Home app by scanning a QR code. It captures full HD video and boasts an extremely wide 180-degree field of view, though there's a bit of a fisheye effect here. The lack of HDR also means areas are sometimes too dark or blown out, there's motion detection, two-way audio, and decent night vision, and you can ask Siri to display the live feed, which loads quickly. The camera can differentiate between people, animals, or vehicles, and rich notifications let you play video clips right from your iPhone's lock screen. At number 5. Google Nest Cam, Battery, Outdoor, Best for Google Assistant. The Nest Outdoor camera works best for anyone with Google Assistant running the show in the home. It's battery-powered and easy enough for renters to install, with a simple mounting plate and a proprietary magnetic mount that makes it easy to customize the angle. The 130-degree field of view is decent and encompassed my driveway, front door, and most of my front yard. It captures sharp 1080p video with HDR and night vision, and it has a clear speaker and microphone. The alerts are seamless, and the motion detector was accurate and sensitive enough to tell that the slight whisk of a passing ponytail was a person. You need a Google account and the Google Home app to use it. You don't need the $6 per month Nest Aware subscription, but most people buying Google devices are probably not afraid of storing data on the cloud or of machine learning. It's worth it to have features like the camera's ability to learn faces and 60-day event history, and even more so if you're bundling it with your Nest doorbell. The battery needs charging after a little more than a month. At number 4. Defender Guard Pro, Best Tethered Budget Camera. The Defender Guard Pro ticks most boxes. It's affordable, delivers 2K video, two-way audio, local storage via an included micro SD card, and has a spotlight and siren. Videos are clear and detailed, and there's a 16x digital zoom. The main weakness is that bright lights can blow out areas of the picture, especially if you use the color night vision, but image quality is generally impressive for the price. Alerts came through swiftly, and the app was consistently quick to load during my testing. What elevates this camera above similarly priced options is the human detection. You can set motion zones and adjust sensitivity on most security cameras, but you still get a lot of false positives. Human detection limits your notifications to people, and it works well on the Defender Guard Pro. 
This camera is also a solid choice if you want video stored locally, nothing goes to the cloud, and there is no need for a subscription. The big downside? It's not battery powered. The camera is IP67 rated, but the power cable isn't waterproof, so you will likely need to drill a hole to run it into your house, limiting your placement options. You can plug into an outlet or use the PO, power over Ethernet, connection. The setup was glitchy, and the camera only supports 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, so things will run more smoothly if you ensure the Wi-Fi network you're using for setup is on the 2.4 GHz band. Sadly, there's no Alexa, Google Assistant, or Home Kit support. At number 3. WiseCam Outdoor, V2, Battery, Best Budget Camera. Bargains are a big part of the Wise brand, and the WiseCam Outdoor is no different. It records video in full HD with a 110 degree field view and comes with a base station that plugs into your router for setup but can connect wirelessly thereafter. This base station takes a micro SD card, not included, for local video recording, and I strongly recommend utilizing this. Otherwise, there's a 12 second limit for video clips and a 5 minute cooldown in between motion events if you store everything in the cloud, accessible for 14 days. If you prefer the cloud, you can pay $24 per year for unlimited video length and no cooldowns, along with other perks like person detection. The stated battery life is between 3 and 6 months, but mine needed a charge before it reached 3. I like that you can schedule recording times and customize the camera's detection zone. And because you can also add a micro SD card to the camera's base, a nifty travel mode lets you take the cam with you without needing to connect to the base station or Wi-Fi, great if you want to monitor your hotel room on a trip. Unfortunately, the video quality overall doesn't match up to more expensive cameras. The low frame rate gives footage a choppy feel, there's no HDR, and night vision is only passable. There is two-way audio, but lags make conversations awkward. The live feed and recorded videos are slow to load too. At number 2. Eufy Cam 2 Pro, battery, no subscription required. If you don't want monthly fees, go for this Eufy Cam system, which includes two cameras. It records video wirelessly to a home base hub that is 16 gigabytes of storage. The hub connects to your router via Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi and doubles up as a Wi-Fi repeater, which can be handy if you want to install cameras farther away from your router. The video footage is mostly crisp and clear at up to 2K resolution, and there's a fairly wide 140-degree field of view. You also get two-way audio and a siren to discourage theft. Long battery life is another selling point here, with UFI claiming the cameras can go a full year between charges. Mine are on 88 and 87% after two months. UFI's mobile app is straightforward, and you get features like human detection included with the purchase price. It also boasts solid encryption, 2FA, and fingerprint unlock like the Arlo. The live feed is quick to load, as are recorded videos when you're at home, but out of the house, loading times are significantly longer. I don't like that notifications don't tell you what triggered the motion sensor. Other downsides include limited smart home capabilities, you can only call up a live feed, no HDR, and a tendency for night vision to blow out in bright areas. The activity zone, a specific area you highlight in the camera's frame to detect motion, is limited to a single rectangle. The Arlo Pro 4 lets you draw multiple zones and tailor the shape. At number 1. Arlo Pro 4, battery, best overall. Crystal clear footage day or night, speedy load times for the live feed, and a smart notification system make the Arlo Pro 4 our favorite outdoor security camera. It connects directly to Wi-Fi, has a wide 160-degree field of view, and records at up to 2K resolution with HDR. Your feet won't look blown out when there's a light source in the frame, there's also a choice of color night vision or spotlight, which uses an integrated light to illuminate the scene. Two-way audio is clear and relatively lag-free, and there's a built-in siren. Over months of testing, it has proven to be a consistent and reliable performer. Arlo claims up to six months of battery life, but this depends entirely on how busy it is, mine needed a charge after less than 3 months. It has an easy to use app, and the camera filters motion alerts by people, animals, vehicles, and packages. The notification system is swift and accurate, offering animated previews and screenshots with highlighted subjects that are easy to read even on a smartwatch screen. The catch? You need an Arlo Secure plan, $3 per month for a single camera, to make the most of these features, and it also gets you 30 days of cloud video history. Thanks for watching, for more details, follow the links given below in the description section, and if you are new here please subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon.